hello friends this is opening and welcome to learn sap app so in this session we are going to learn about how to add a tab to a screen using a tab strip control wizard in a model pool programming so what is a tab strip control a tab strip control is a screen object consisting of two or more pages so each tab page consists of tab title and page area so tab strip control allow you to place the series of screen belonging to an application on a single screen and to navigate between them easily so let's go to the app, app editor and we will see all these things practically okay but wait if you are the first time on my channel then subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to get notification of my upcoming videos okay so what we are going to do is um we will just create one one selection screen and in the selection screen we will add a parameter as the employee id and then in employee id we will pass the employee id and then we will, we will display the data in the tabs okay we'll display, we will create the three different types like personal detail uh, personal detail address detail and the communication detail okay and in this thing tab we will display data data okay so let's start and uh, declare selection screen we can off lock b1 selection screen and off lock b1 okay uh, now we will declare one parameter parameters p emp id type and then thing as a modifier okay Activate. Okay. Now we will fetch some data from table. We will call vision start of selection. Okay. Select start from. Okay. Uh, we will display the table. Okay, I will show you the table. Okay, this is our table. This table we have employee first name, last name, country, city, employee. Okay, so in the first tab we will display employee first name, last name, and the second tab which is address data we in which we will display country and city, and in the third tab we will display email and Instagram. Okay, so let's go to the editor. Okay, so we are fetching the some data. So like single star from C A M P data in to enter in data ls mp data okay if say she is not initial what will be we will clear this mc data okay Okay, so now we have declared the selection screen and no selection. Okay, this end of selection, we are going to call the screen. Okay, and give an email as 100. This is our main screen. In this main screen, we are going to add some tab. Okay, and in that step will display the data whatever we have fetched from this simple table okay so now double click on call screen yes we we'll give the name as the main screen okay then go to the layout now we will design now we will design the main screen okay um, Okay, so this is our main screen. Okay, so now what we will do? Uh, we we'll add one box here. Okay. Here we will add some text. Yes. Give the name. Description 
and play detail okay yeah add this title okay now now what we will do we will just select the tab strip okay the tab strip and we will drag and drop over here okay so it will open the tab strip wizard in the next video see here now what you have to do you have to just need to click on the continue first then you will find the name of the tab strip name so what provide the name for your tab strip so i'm giving z tab z tab then here you can find the two options scrolling in the notification server scrolling in the sap jiva okay so we have to always uh, select scrolling in sap jiva okay so what is the difference between in this two radio button scrolling in sap jiva means whenever you will click on any tab the pi pi user command will get triggered okay and when if you select the scrolling in the title i was scrolling in application server then pi command will execute only when you click on this select this uh, back cancel and uh, exit button okay on the toolbar okay so for so for so we want to we want to trigger the pi command when we will click on the uh, tab strip uh, so you will give a tab so that you need to click like this then click on continue here we have to provide the name for the tab um, we'll give the first tab is a personal personal detail then second tab we will provide as a address in detail and communication details okay add a three button click on next now uh, now the system will auto create some three sub screen you can see here one two and three and function code is also assigned to each and every tab so click on the next continue now here you can see the three different include they are creating so we will differentiate based on the uh, naming convention so in which will help us to in order to understand which include is for which purpose yeah and here will give us a form okay form is nothing but subroutine include next okay and then complete okay so now as you can see here we have added three as okay personal return candidate and communication return okay so just do it okay now we have successfully added okay and you can see here the subscribe area also created for each and every tab okay okay so now we okay so as you can see here uh, the system has already created so three different include for form here and there is some how to generate code as well you can see okay don't don't make any changes in this code okay give as it is whatever the system has generated okay so what i will do we will just copy this the code from here i will first turn the top okay so activate okay and uh, now okay so now uh, just click on this display object list and we will add some field in the sub screen okay it's created by the system okay so this is the personal detail just double click on it wait first we will person okay here just click on the layout This is the sub screen one. Uh, we will just remove this text from here. Okay. We'll add one box. Add one box here. And add some label here. Uh, EMP ID. Employ id then next first 
with the give name as the first name okay then we'll create a one more one so last name last name okay so this is the uh, okay now we have to add the text field okay so now we have to add the input field okay so we'll add this from this dictionary program field windows here and I click on a get from program different different field so we have to take this see field so we'll employ ID first name last name okay okay we'll put it here Name. this is the last one okay now we have added click just check and activate okay so this is this subscript we are going to display inside under the personal detail tab okay okay and do the same thing from the other subscreen also okay then I'll do the same thing for this second also okay so now this is the address detail so we are going to add the city and country from the table okay so go to the layout let's delete this variable from here bring the box here here what you are going to add fill on country for your country for your country okay so country now we will add the city city okay Okay, now we will add the uh, again should from here in this uh, is you can find the country and city okay and city activate so you can activate cancel It. Okay. and we'll do the same thing for the third screen and so okay not the uh, email ID and communication so an Instagram ID field delete email ID and next field what we are going to add is Insta, Insta, Insta. Okay. Now we'll take field from this table. Email ID, Instagram ID. Okay. Put this box so. Okay, check and activate. Okay, so now what we have done, what we have done, we have added this. We have designed this subscreen that is 101, 102, and 103. Okay, I will look on the program once. Uh, this is the parameter we employed. I am using this. Okay, sorry. Select single star into data where EMP ID equal to PMP ID okay let's select at the rate okay uh, we are using we are doing the England declaration so we need to type as uh, at the rate
okay now we will exhibit and we will see the output see it and this is my program test type tree exhibit and type the employee ID here in fact okay so now as you can see here our is created uh, you can see the personal detail address detail and communication three time added with the relevant information in each and every time okay registered communication data so this is the way uh, you can make a use of this tab strip control and you can create your tab okay so this is the basic idea so using this technique you can design your own screen and add the tab whatever you require in your for your requirement okay so that's it if you like this video then press the like button below if you have any doubt then write me in the comment section below if you want to learn more about a app then visit to my website www.learningcpapapp.com the link is also given in the description and please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to get notification about my next upcoming videos okay so friends bye signing out